Imagine you drew something wrong. Of course you can press Ctrl Z. It feels so natural that it's hard to believe this function didn't always exist. In the 70s, when the computer interface was still the command line, mistakes were fatal. If you accidentally deleted a file or erased hundreds of lines of text, the only option was to start over. So it was not only a technical problem but also a psychological one. But the solution was found in the Xerox Park Lab, where the first graphical user interfaces were being developed. A famous computer scientist from Park, Larry Chesler, was the main supporter of the undo concept. He said that this command should be part of the standard editing trio – cut, copy, paste. In the 80s, Apple started using Park's innovations and hired their workers. That's why in Apple Lisa and Macintosh computers this function was standardized with the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-Z. In early versions of Windows, this feature also appeared. By the end of the 80s, undo had become a must-have element in the edit menu of any program. Subscribe.